the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to worship. We got in your name. You said when two or three are got in your name, you've been in the midst of them. I ask Heavenly Father to come in the midst of us and give us understanding of your word, give us understanding of the kingdom of God, and, 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 and just to strengthen us to be more solid than we were before. We now Amen. submit to you, moving ourselves out of the way, let the Holy Spirit have his way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Elder, I was looking at the uh, when we was looking at the that parable of Mark four, and 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 the, the trail that it took me off on. I, I, you know, we agree. Jesus talked about the kingdom of heaven, right? Oh, kingdom of God and it's life. Kingdom of heaven, and he, and he, uh, he, he used both for references. And and, he, and in the case of the sower. Uh, not the one with that donation, but the top one. Uh, I, I alluded that it reminded me so much like Genesis. Mm -hmm. And I, I, this is the scripture, I'm, I'm going to read it to you because you're driving and stuff. The, uh, I looked it up when he said Genesis 1.26. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check it. One twenty, twenty-six. Yeah, he said, and God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them check this key word right here: dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and all the earth." And over every right. thing that creepers upon the earth, right? Right, right. And then even 28 said, right. and God said to them, God said, God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. That kind of made me thought about that hundredfold, thirtyfold, right? Sixtyfold. Mm -hmm. And replenish mm -hmm. the earth and subdue it and have once again dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over every creeping thing that lives upon the earth mm -hmm. you know and and, and, look, and, and now even 29 saying god said behold i have given you herbs bearing seed mm -hmm. which is upon the face of all the earth Mm -hmm. Every tree in the to which is the fruit of a tree yield a seed to you to be meat. Right? right. So right. so Jesus talked about the kingdom. It looks like the discussion of the kingdom started in Genesis. Because dominion, what does dominion mean? Um, dominance. Dominance. Influence. Um, hey, I tell you, I do even better. Why don't we just see what the concordance said, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you the concordance because it really referred back to a kingdom. What's this? Uh, do dominion. I'm gonna read it to you in the concordance. The concordance, the concordance number is 87287. It says, a primitive root to tread down, that is, subjugate, specifically to crumble off, have dominion, prevail against, and here's that word, reign, bear, mate, to rule, uh to take over mm -hmm. the rule over excuse me mm -hmm. rule over that 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 sounds like a kingdom to me 
Does that sound like a comedic Kenyan to you? Uh, uh, yes. I, 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 well, any form of government that has actually overwhelmed another form of government. Yeah. Um, the USSR, fascism, de democracy, um, kingdoms. Yeah. Uh, we we fought uh, Hitler, but Hitler was a fascist. Was he fascist? Fascist? Yeah. And, uh, we ruled, we, we, we won the war. Right. You know, the democracy should have been, and it was, the one, it's one section, it was a democratic, as the country divided, a portion of it was democratic. Right. You know, uh, Russia was the dictatorship. If the United States had eventually overwhelmed them, it still would have been the democracy that took place over there. It would have had dominion in the area, even though it wasn't the kingdom, it was a form of government. Right. And that yeah. government was predominant in that area. It was, it, it was the one that had the greatest influence. Exactly. So, so my point that I'm saying is, and that's, that's what I was telling Vincent, I said, uh, but, but what you're saying is accurate in the sense that God never wanted men to rule over men. He wanted to rule over men himself. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So God was ruling, actually ruling through Adam. Adam, Adam was God's uh, image in the earth. Exactly. Right, like yeah. on the shepherd, right? Right, exactly. And and, and that's what I'm saying is that the, because it's, it's interesting when he, he started preaching, like you said, you know, y'all said last Sunday, he said the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God is at hand. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And, and, and the point I'm, when I looked at the Genesis itself, it, 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 is referring back to the ag agricultural base again uh, and dominion because he did put them in the garden to keep it right mm -hmm. that, yeah. that that's that he was, he was in, in the garden yeah, his they job were was, to yep his job was to they keep were, the garden <laughs> there was important rules in god's head uh-huh right Over there. and and you know you catch that part in the the 29 he said i give you every herb for to bear to be fruitful to to the the, the seed is in, in in every fruit in every tree and 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 that'll be meat for you yep. and, and and don't forget even 26 it said to be fruitful and multiply exactly. you, you yep. see every, everything that was hitting on that that uh that parable was pointing back to a kingdom and, and, and we talked about it Sunday was saying is because he said and when he explained it he said the mystery of the kingdom yeah but the power no, no, was no. huh I think what Lee was talking about was that he was not seeing it in, in, in reference to each other even though the allegory was there uh and I and I was listening I mean throughout the teaching Throughout the teaching of, of, of the kingdom of God, you're seeing the, I guess, the inception of it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. how did he establish the kingdom initially? Exactly. He put this man, this woman down here. He gave him dominion over an area. Exactly. And he, and he uh, had things producing after his own kind. Right. So right. in the in seed, in the fruit seed was the fruit. And in the fruit was the seed. And in the seed was the fruit. And yep. the fruit and was the seed. It right. produced after his own kind. Exactly. Everything produced after his own kind. So you to to, to the seed to replenish, right? Just like yeah. in a farmer, you have to sow seed to replenish. Yes. Now, in, in reference to what uh, you have to sow seed to replenish. So, in reference to what, you know, if I if I make the distinction between what Lee is saying as far as the kingdom was concerned, Lee was literally looking at I think more like from the the scientific perspective in that he identified how different you know and I'm not saying that's what Lee was thinking but I'm saying that's what he did he came across to me is that how how the creation occurred as far as things uh, reproducing in the earth and you know we got the evolutionary theory but in the corner of the scripture all the kinds were made initially and then they started reproducing they made a, made adjustments but they stayed the same kind it didn't, one kind did start producing another kind. Right. So that would have been a true evolution if, you know, oranges had evolved into apples or uh, vice versa. But what right. it did was it, it turned, it stayed apples and it just produced 
different varieties of apples. So it was it wasn't a, a change in species or anything. It was just a change in in, in the variety or some of the characteristics of the same species. So now when he created man in that day, we literally are the sons of God, and and we were created to be that. We were really created to be that. And I think when we look at Adam, that was a partial process. Yeah. Adam, Adam, but Adam went through. Adam was supposed to go. Through, I think he well, says that Adam had to. Be, he had to make a choice. He had to. He had to be the agent of choice, and God couldn't or didn't choose to tempt him. So, if he had have done that, then he would not have taken on the full quality of God. And I think that one of the things, and, and, and this will probably give me some trouble with some people, but I think God's intent was to recreate Himself to us in us. Well, he said, let us make us in our own in his own image, right? And the only thing that was missing was man didn't know good to And and and, and that's I, why I don't think he you, you think he meant for him to eat it? Or I think or, he did. I, I think he did because if he really did not want them to eat it, he never would have put the there. He, he he wouldn't have given them the choice. Well, so he wanted them to be free will agents. And if the choice is and, and, and you know what's funny about it is the plan of salvation was in place prior to the foundation of the earth. So God already knew they were gonna choose wrong way. Well that, that that's that's a that's a that's a that's a good point. I, I'm not saying that that's what you can't you can't contest one way or the other on that. But I'm with you on that. I was just showing the correlation of It was. That, that, I mean across the creation there was a correlation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There was there was truly a correlation that the way that man in the kingdom is propagated in the same way that the earth and the vegetation and stuff and even the animals are propagated. Yeah. Um, the only thing it is is that on earth, other animals were given dominion over other animals. I mean, we do have the, the, the food chain, but the, in, the, in the earth, man was given dominion over everything. Initially, it still is. Because we noticed that, that, that they didn't have animals eating animals and even in that scenario in the scriptures right there we're looking at animals didn't eat animals and and and, 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 and there was no murder there was no sickness there was no death there were no thorns there were no thistles there was just fruit reproducing itself at this kind and being available for food for all the animals and for man and for man right it was meat he even said that right yeah. 20, right 20, and he said, said this, this, meat. The herbs of the field, the uh -huh. fruit of the trees, it could be meat for mankind. So men didn't even eat meat in the nope. beginning. Nope. And animals didn't eat each other. Right. So it was only when we corrupted and there were no thorns and pistols. Exactly. So when we corrupted, which which shows which to me shows the spiritual aspect of man demonstrated in scripture, our spiritual condition determined what our experiences were around us. Yeah. You walk in a room and you spiritually change the atmosphere. And when you spiritually change the atmosphere, you're going to see the manifestations of your impact. They said that uh, when Mr. Mr. and I, I use this example, but they said when Mr. Trump was in office, that the White House itself was hell. That the people had a very difficult time getting along with each other. And that chaos and confusion was a part of his, his influence and environment. I've been in offices like that. Uh, and some managers rule like that. I mean, some some managers actually create that kind of dynamic in their offices because they feel that's the way that they're going to get their their, their opportunities to, to maximize their potential. Right. Not everybody even did that. Now, I, I on a personal note, don't think it it, it it works if you know how to manage it. But I don't think it's the most effective way to go about doing things because it causes unnecessary stress. Right. So, uh, but. The, the, the spirit that you bring with you is the spirit that's going to be imparted to whomever it is that you have to mention over. Exactly. And you got to say a word. If she's just showing up, it's going to it's actually going to impart something. And that's yeah. the part that that really that's the. I'll tell you something. I've learned a lot in these last few years. Uh, that's the that spiritual communication that takes place. Right. Now, I, I believe we can, we communicate on that level. God communicates with mankind on that level. You don't actually hear an audible voice. But you feel the unction, or you can hear something. You hear a a, a, a voice within your head, it is. within your spirit. You, you really do, right? And then we have the, the consciousness that we can actually talk to through audible words. And then we have the physical aspect. It pushes somebody out the way, 
or enticing them through a hand gesture or something to come in a direction. Right. So we are the competition, and you can communicate and develop us on all those levels. Exactly. We interact exactly. with each other on all those levels. To me, the most influential should be the spirit realm. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I think for the most part it is. Even when we're on I think the spirit drives it. I think it is. I think that the uh, there's things happening in the spiritual realm yep. constantly. And one of the other pieces in that parable was the fowls of the air comes to devour the seeds. And he, yep. you know, we explained that was yep. safe, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. And that is almost retelling the story of Genesis. And that's true. Because that's, that's what Satan did, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He came to take the word, the seed, out of the heart before it can really take good root. Yep. And look, look, look. And then he used the value of the lust, even as far well, the desires, right? The lust of the eyes. Yep, lust of the bit, pride of life, yep. Yeah, all that. See what I'm saying is the devil, he's basically telling me he's almost restating the the the, the, the story of Genesis in that uh, parable. You know, it's kind of funny because that story is so over and over and over and over again. I think Throughout so. the scripture, yeah, that story is. I think so. And that's why he was trying to say there's a spiritual warfare. Yep. And the enemy and, and, comes in subtly. And that, now when you say it, uh, that is what Jesus did. Jesus yeah. used material uh, uh, examples to actually teach us spiritual principles. And yeah. And, 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 and to say that, these principles, well, I'm going to see your way. I'm, I'm learning something even yet. The word that you speak is so powerful. It is going yeah. to manifest something. It is going to manifest something. Something is going to happen in accordance with what comes out of your mouth. Right, right. And that not sometimes, that's every time. Yeah. And you every know that's... time you open your mouth, something is going to happen in reference to that. That's interesting because you, you, you're paving the way for, for something deadly. I was sitting there, I caught myself twice this uh month 